Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if you are new here and if not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In this practice, I'm going to take you through one of my favorite styles of yoga, a slow flow and deep stretch. I teach this format two times a week and I swear in that hour, is like timeless. It just goes by so fast. It's so gentle and your body, your mind, your heart, you just feel so cared for at the end of the class. On the deep stretch side of things, you get to experience a yin style of yoga. So more focused on your connective tissue, dissolving stored stressors and tensions in the body. And then on the slow flow side of things, it's very accessible, very mild, and it helps to connect or nourish that relationship between linking breath and movement. So if all of that sounds appealing to you, I'd love to have you for the practice. If you enjoy it, make sure to give it a like. That way I know that you enjoy this style of yoga just as much as I do. And subscribe to my channel, that way you never miss a new video. My goal in 2022 is to upload a new video once a week. So if you'd like to join me in that journey, I hope to see you in another video. Have a beautiful practice. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you soon. Today we'll get started in Waterfall, a restorative backbend using a blanket. The fold is a rectangle. So as you fold up that blanket, you place it on the mat behind you and run your hands over it, make sure that it's smooth. Take a seat on your mat and slide that blanket in close to your sacrum, recline to your back body. You want to be sure that your hips and your shoulders are grounded. So if you have to readjust, slide downward or upward. Soften and lengthen the back of your neck, and then you can capital T your arms, goalpost, bend your elbows, or diamond shape your arms over your head. Three options with your legs as well. You can extend them long. You can open up your hips, draw soles of feet together, or take constructive rest. Draw the soles of your feet to your mat, angle toes in, heels out, and your inner knees come to touch. Please personalize your fidgets and your adjustments. Glasses on your face, a wristwatch, jewelry or hair ties. Please set any of those additionals to the right or left side of your space. And to celebrate the arrival on the four corners of your mat, let's cleanse an exhalation. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill up your belly and ribs. And open mouth, exhale. Let the breath go. You practice that one more time all the way down to your lower abdominals. Breathe in and expand. Open mouth, complete your exhalation. And with that same concentration, closure of your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Option for the ujjayi breath, out through your nose. Constrict your throat just enough so that with every inhale and exhale, there is sound, but more importantly, there is your attention. There is your focus. And just shy of 30 minutes, this time that you have on your yoga mat, please remember that the goal of all of this, the beautiful union of your body as you breathe, it's to calm the mind. So as many times as you become distracted today, come back to the breath. If there's a readiness to bring some movement, awaken your fingers and take a full body stretch. Lengthen your arms and legs in opposite directions. Get really long through your right arm. And then soften that exaggeration. Get really long through your left arm. Soften that effort. Now really long through your right leg. Flex right foot. Soften and really long through your left leg. Down to left toes. And get equally long through all four limbs and take a big breath in. Exhale to release. You'll bend into your knees, feet to mat, and roll to fetal pose on your right side. Hug knees comfortably high into your heart and all the way down to your low back. Breathe it in and breathe it out. 
You press your hands into the floor, lift your torso, take your rectangular blanket, put it at the back, small edge of your mat, lie on your back, and that blanket is meant to pad your neck and your head. Hug your knees in towards your chest, apanasana, full wind-relieving pose. Do a little sway and cradle to the right and to the left. And place your hands on your knees and start to send your legs in circles, independent of one another. Small or big, slow or fast, those details are up to you. And then switch the direction if you haven't already. Tight squeeze of knees into your heart. We meet in figure four on the right. Cross your right ankle over left thigh. And your left foot can come to the mat or lift your legs and take a bind on left hamstrings or your left shin. If you opt for that bind, you press your tailbone down. Relax and release your outer shoulders. And in these longer holds, you remember what was shared in opening meditation. That gathering of the mind, the goal of all of this, that union, that relationship between the breath and the body, the goal is to calm your mind. As it is there, you can truly feel and experience a sense of peacefulness. And down to your outer right hip, breathe in. Exhale, reclined cow face. Cross your right thigh and right knee over your left. Your left foot can come to the floor or lift your legs and bind. Interlace fingers on left hamstrings, your shins, your ankles, or even grab a hold of outer heels. If you have that bind at your feet, see if you can draw your feet up a little bit closer towards your face. And while I absolutely want you to explore sensation, please know that nothing at any point today in any practice really is meant to be painful. Nothing is meant to harm your ability to breathe. And it's in your heart, you know and you feel the goal of all of this is to calm the mind. So as many times as you slip away into states of distraction, please come back to your breath. With your energy and your attention at your outer right hip, your right hip crease, breathe in. Exhale to release. Guide your left foot to the floor. Eagle leg twist. Option to pass your right foot behind your left thigh, your left calf, or left ankle. And then drop your knees over to the left. Peel your arms open and send your gaze to the right. If the eagle leg expression is too intense, simply unwind your legs. You can stack your knees or take your favorite expression of a supine twist. And to maximize the potency of this posture, this shape, please be sure to complete your exhale breath. Through the length of your right side, breathe in. Exhale to release, unwind from the twist and unravel your legs. 
Half wind relieving pose on the right. Hug your right knee to your chest and let your left leg go long the length of your mat. Take a few rotations into your ankles if you'd like. And with every exhalation, deepen the compression at your right hip crease. If it feels helpful, draw your right knee a little bit wider to your outer right shoulder. Today's focus predominantly on the lower half of your body. Hips, hamstrings, low back. A wonderful opportunity to dissolve stored stressors and tensions. Just as you are, take a big breath in. Exhale, half happy baby pose. Pull your right knee wider than your right side body. You can take your right hand to right hamstrings, right ankle or bottom of right foot. When you find that sweet spot of sensation, you can keep a bend in your left knee or you can extend your left leg long. Personally, I like to find a middle ground between the two. As I bend my left knee, I like to roll onto the outer left heel and pinky toe side of my left foot. And just maximize the depth of your ujjayi breath. as you free up space in the lower half of your body, feel that you are stable and you're grounded. You are connected to where you are. And with your whole heart right here, take a deep breath in and a complete breath out. Release half happy baby pose. Reclined bound angle, guide the soles of your feet together and let your knees splay wide. Your palms can rest on your abdominals or backs of hands can take rest on the floor. If you'd like to come back to that diamond shape, release the backs of your hands to rest on the ground overhead. Breathe sweetly into the sensation of both hips, groin, and inner thighs. As you give yourself permission to rest and relax. You press your low back into the ground, close off knees, close off hips. Constructive rest. Keep your knees bent, toe heel your feet wide. Ingle your toes inward and kick your heels outward as your inner knees fall together at the midline of your body. Take a few breaths into the neutral, low spine.
You move with patience. Toe heel your feet to hips with distance. Figure four on the left. Cross your left foot over your right thigh and your right foot can stay grounded or lift your legs and take a bind. Interlace your fingers on right hamstrings or right shin. And if your legs are lifted, you actively press your tailbone through your low back down. Breathe ease into your outer shoulders and soften the back of your neck. And as you take this series on your second side, there's no expectation and there's no comparison to the first. Simply the opportunity for a brand new experience. Continue to narrow your attention down to the rhythm of your breath. You have the constriction deep in your throat, which serves as the anchor for your mind. You guide your inner gaze to your outer left hip. Take a deep breath in and a complete breath out. Release your bind if you have it, right foot to floor, reclined cow face, cross left thigh, left knee over right. Option to lift your legs and interlace your fingers on right hamstrings, grab your shins, ankles, or outer heels. If you catch a hold of outer heels, you might draw your feet up closer towards your face. And draw your right hip down, press the back of your right hip into the floor. Mild discomfort, maybe, but please remember these longer holds, nothing is meant to be painful. You follow the pathway of your breath, a deep inhalation and a complete exhalation. And if you opted for the bind, slow to release as things may have shifted. From cow face, take your eagle legs on the left. 
Option to pass your left foot behind your right calf, right ankle. And you scoot your hips over to the left and drop your knees to the right. Peel your arms open. Feel the broad stroke from your sternum plate out through open hands. And any amount, you send your gaze over to the left. Notice if there's held tension in the lower palate of your jaw, your lips or tongue. And if there's room to let it go, you soften. from your left hip up into your left shoulder follow a wide breath in and your exhalation engage navel to spine then unwind from the twist slow to level your hips and low back and then unwind your legs with your hips in line with your shoulders half wind relieving pose hug left knee to your chest and lengthen your right leg the length of your mat a few rotations into your ankles if you'd like. And breathe ease into your shoulders, traps, and the back of your neck. You do not have to mirror or mimic, but if it's safe, draw your left knee wider towards left shoulder. And with every exhalation, you encourage left thigh closer to torso. Take a big breath in and on your exhale, half happy baby pose, draw left knee wider than left side body. Left hand to left hamstrings, left ankle or bottom of left foot. You can extend your right leg long, you can bend your right knee. Or go for that half butterfly expression. Keep your right knee bent and open your right hip. You roll onto your outer right heel and pinky toe side. Just feel the space that you can create from your right toes to your left heel. And you support the sensation as it develops with conscious breathing. deep into your left hip crease. Take a big breath in. Exhale to release and hug both knees into your chest. 
Option to grab a hold of opposite wrists, forearms, or elbows. And with every exhalation, deepen your hip creases, hug thighs to your abdominals. One more breath in. Complete your breath out. As you release your feet back to your mat, toe heel your feet about hips width distance, knees stay bent. Drop your knees over to the left. Option to lift your left heel and hook it on your outer right knee. If that goes over well, just toe heel your right foot a few inches to the right. That will deepen the internal rotation through your right hip. But please know that deeper is far from better. Your best is wherever you can breathe. And if your left foot is lifted, slide it to the mat. Inhale, lift your knees. And on your exhale, drop knees to the right. Send your gaze to the left. Option to lift your right foot and hook your right heel at the outer left thigh, your left knee. If it feels safe, toe heel your left foot just a few inches over to the left. As you breathe sweet and deep into your navel center. If your right foot is lifted, slide it down. Inhale, lift knees and gaze. And on your exhale, hug knees to chest. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine, brainstem to tailbone. After a few rocks and rolls, we'll meet in Sukhasana, easy seat. Let your ankles cross and your knees drop down. My suggestion is to sit on height so you can grab that folded blanket, slide it under your sitting bones. That will neutralize your pelvis and lengthen your low back. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Now right hand, grab left wrist. Exhale, side body stretch. Inhale, upward salute. Left hand, right wrist. Exhale, side body stretch. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Palms together. Flip your hands. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, chin to chest. Switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, upward salute, 10 fingers, lengthen, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, both arms high, exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, lift, exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, through center, palms might touch, exhale, flip hands and drop chin to chest. Let's roll forward into tabletop. You can utilize the blanket if you'd like. Use it to pad your kneecaps and support your joints. Extend your right leg long, tuck under right toes. So you press your right heel to the back of your space. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat back. But keep your right leg long. Inhale, cow pose. Elevate your heart and your head. And exhale, cat spine. One more, inhale, cow stretch. Exhale, cat back. Tabletop, right knee down, extend left leg long, tuck left toes and press your left heel back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, really puff up your back ribs. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat back, tuck your pelvis. One more, smooth. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat spine. Tabletop, left knee, return to blanket or mat. Inhale, cow pose. Feel hands and knees. Exhale, sink your hips to your heels like a child pose. Inhale, stand on your knees and sweep your arms high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Toes tuck, hips lift. Again, inhale, cow pose, knees ground. Exhale, hips to heels, forehead to floor. Inhale, stand on your knees, gaze is high. 
Exhale, downward facing dog, strong and smooth. Inhale, cow pose, a little more familiar as you lift your heart. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, stand on your knees and sweep your arms high. Exhale, downward facing dog, spread your fingers and solidify into your palms. As you hold and breathe in down dog, set your gaze or close your eyes and smooth out your breath. And the hope is just a little bit calmer in your mind. Tabletop, return to your knees and sink back into child pose. Soft bend in your elbows, softness in your heart. the full capacity of your lungs, breathe in and breathe out. And to honor our time restraints, if you'd like to close practice in Shavasana, begin to set space. As we are at the 30 minute marker, I will provide closure and offer up the prayer of loving kindness. You can join me upright in a comfortable seat, hands at your heart, shoulders roll back. Take a big breath in and release an open mouth exhale. So with this perfect blending of head, hands, and heart, that we acknowledge the most ancient intention of the practice. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous, your heart steady and of benefit to all beings. As you are, big breath in and all your breath out. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the practice. Namaste.